Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part 5 of Space Chicken, which is in the Ready Maker software, okay? Um, what we're going to do in this one is called Game Moments, which is basically just the cycling through the cards in the beginning of the game. So you see, you know, this is Space Chicken, you click on that, it gives you the directions of the game, you click on that, and then the game starts, okay? It's different than what we have right now, because when I hit play right now, the game just actually just starts. So we have to, you know, turn that system off and make it turn on once we cycle through those different cards, okay? So the first thing we're going to do uh, is going to make sense in a few more minutes, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on the arrow, we're going to go to behavior, we're going to add a behavior called counter, we're going to name this counter boolean, and a boolean is just like an on-off switch, okay? Zero is off, one is on, okay? Um, so with that, leave that alone for a second, we're going to go into our event manager, and we're going to add an event, okay? Choose an object. Oh, before we do that, let's back out. Okay, go into your artwork, go to SC space, and we're going to put the first card in the game somewhere out here in the abyss, and the second card out here in the abyss as well. Clicking on those under appearance, we want to turn solid off on both of those cards. Okay, now back into the event manager. Uh, event number six is going to be game start. Oh, yeah, game start. And what that is, is basically the system runtime scene start. The first card, so when the game starts, the first card is going to be positioned, set position, set manually, and we're going to make this 0, 0. 0, 0 is the center of the screen, okay? So it actually works that way in Unity as well. So now, when I start this game, you're going to see the card right at the beginning here. Okay, that's what we want. So go back into the event manager again. Close this one. Add a new event. Uh, the game instructions. Okay, we're going to call this game instructions. When the first card is sensing a touchdown, which means like if you were to touch uh, it on the screen or click it, you know, if you're using your computer, uh, the first card is going to position, set position, because we need this card to go away after we click on it, okay? Set manual, and you'll see these numbers actually held true for what where it is right now, which is off the screen, and you can hit confirm. Uh, we also need the second card to come into play. So if we, had, if we hit the little plus here, that's going to give us an and. So when the first card is touched down, the first card is going to move back to its old position, and... The second card is going to position, set position, set manual to zero, 0, and hit confirm, okay, and hit done. So now when I'm in here, and here's the other thing with that boolean that we were talking about before, these are already running, which we don't want, and we're going to turn those off in a second and make it start after we click the second, uh, the second sheet or the second card, okay, but for now, when I click on the first one, that first one goes away, the second one comes into play. Now I want to be able to click this one, I want this one to go away, and I want the game to start at that point. Okay, so right now it doesn't do anything. So we go back into the event manager again. The next one is going to be called Game Begin. When the second card is sensing a touchdown, so when you click on the second card, we want the second card to position, set position, set manually, back to where it came from. Confirm. Done. Now when I hit play, I click this one, I get to here, I click that one, that one goes away as well. Okay? So that part's done. The next thing, go back to, um, you have to go back to your asteroids and your ammo in the event manager. So see where it says clone asteroid. Drop that back down. We want to do an and here. And we want the arrow, which we already called a boolean, equal to set manual 1. That means turn the game on, okay? Um, actually, that means that, you know, when a after every 3.5 seconds and the system is on, then it will clone asteroids, okay? So we're going to do the same thing for the other one. We're going to do an and. So when, uh, whoops, remove that one, this one. 
when the system is uh, when it's been more than 2.5 seconds the arrow boolean is equal to 1 then you can start cloning all the ammo okay uh, now the last thing we need is we need the game to actually be flipped on okay so in order for that to happen we're gonna go back into the event manager and actually let's test out what we have so far so right now the game itself is off okay you can see that as I sit here and I wait there's nothing happening I click on the card I see the second card I wait a couple seconds I don't see anything happening yet I click again and I want that game to start okay so I need the boolean to change to one when I click on that second card so let me go back into my event manager this here says game begin when I touch down on the second card the position of the second card goes back to where it came from and I want the arrow which by the way there's no real reason why it's on the arrow we just needed to put it on some kind of game piece okay uh, the boolean will set value set manual to one confirm so when I touch the second card the second card goes away and the boolean changes to one and hit done okay so now let's see if that works let's hit play we're gonna wait a couple seconds here I don't see the game starting click on the first card still waiting a couple seconds I don't see anything happening yet and then you click on the second card the second card goes away and then the game begins okay so that's what you want you want this to be the beginning of your game and this is called game moments all right Thank you guys for watching. This was part five of Ready Maker Chicken, um, Space Chicken, and we'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Gotta catch